Okay, so I'm going to show you how to download <clears throat> a different software to record your demo on. What you'll want to do first is you can go over to iSpring. So it's on iSpringSolutions.com, and what you are wanting is going to be the free uh, screen recording software. So you can go to iSpring.com Solutions. There it is right there. iSpringSolutions.com backslash iSpring dash free dash camp. Or you can just type into Google <laughs> iSpring screen recording software and it'll come up. Um, you'll get this. What you'll want to do is enter your email and click on the free download. It will start to download it for you. Just uh, agree to let it download. Once it's done downloading, you will see it'll create a shortcut on your computer. It's really easy to use. So it's going to download. Do, 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 do. So if you want to put a short one to two minute introduction before your demo, iSpring is probably the way to go because it'll let you record longer for free. Once that gets downloaded onto your computer, you will just agree to install it. And it's going to create a shortcut over on your computer. All right, so it is all finished downloading. I can go ahead and close out of here. And what you'll find is that it created a uh, spot right on over here uh, for iSpring. So when you click on that, you're going to get this. All you have to do is uh, select new recording. Um, so what you will do is select new recording. It's going to kind of let you know what area of the screen it's going to record. You can click uh, you can click this settings button to make sure that you have the right microphone selected, um, and you can pull up Magic Ears. So I'm going to pull up the Magic Ears, and what you would do is just go into your classroom, and when you're all ready to record, you will just need to click that record button. So I'll pretend I'm in the classroom. I'm just going to click record. It's going to count you down, three, two, one, and boom, you're recording. So you would go through your demo. When you are all done recording, all you would have to do is press escape um, on this software, and it'll start preparing the video that you downloaded, and there it is. There's your video. So what you can do is you can just save as video. Do -do -do. It's going to save somewhere. Make sure you pay attention to where you save um, the uh this because um, you are going to want to know where to find it. So I'm going to go ahead and put this over in videos and call it screen recording demo and save it. So now I've got it there on my computer. Perfect. Yay, there it is. So what you'll have to do is then save that. All right, so what you'll have to do is then go over to um, get the link to send it to them. So you can upload it to Google Drive um, and get that link to send to them. Let's show you how we would do that. So I could go over to Google Drive and sign in. So once I'm over here in Google Drive, <laughs> I can upload a new file, new file upload. I can go back to where I put it. So I put it over there in videos, screen recording demo, and it's going to upload into Google Drive. And there it is. So now it is uploaded here. So all I need to do then is I can click on it and I can um, collect, uh, click get shareable link copied my link. Boom. Anyone with this link can view it now. So I'll go over to my Magic Ears portal and I would upload it right where it asks you for that demo link and you're all set. So that is how you can use iSpring software to download um, your thing. <laughs> your demo. <laughs> Lost my train of thought there for a minute. Your demo. So there you go, guys. <laughs>